In this video, we'll be looking at an introduction to the data analysis module. Firstly, we'll look at how to categorize data. We're able to categorize data using two methods. Firstly, it's by number of variables. We have two options here. If there is one variable that we're looking at, that's called univariate data, and two variables, it's called bivariate data. Furthermore, we can categorize by the type of variable. Here we have two main types, so we've got categorical data as well as numerical data. For categorical data, we can split that into a further two categories, okay? So you've got ordinal data, which has a logical order that it's uh, put into, okay? And also nominal data, which can be put in any order and it doesn't really matter. For numerical data, that is split into discrete and continuous data. Discrete data has specific values and it has to be rounded to a certain point, and continuous data can be pretty much infinite and can be rounded to any extent. In order to distinguish whether we have categorical data or numerical data, we ask ourselves three questions. Am I measuring something? Am I counting something? And can this data be manipulated? And what I mean by that is, if we were to divide it by two, is this possible and does this make sense? If you answer yes to any of those questions, you've got numerical data. One thing to be very careful of though, is that not all categorical data is made up of words. Generally, this is the case, but sometimes in the case of things like postcodes or house numbers, you're looking at numbers that are actually categorical data. So make sure you don't make that mistake. Data analysis involves a lot of graphs, okay? So make sure that you're able to both read all of the graphs that are outlined in the study design, as well as able to draw them. Increasingly, you're being asked to draw graphs um, and talk more broadly about them in the exams, and so it's really important that you have tons of examples in your summary book. That's about it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.